So that, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the, the actual economics are even better than that uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Uh, so your maintenance is low. Your cost of operations are low, um, and so it's actually uh, comparable to a, a truck, a, a gasoline truck that's ten to fifteen thousand dollars less. In addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built, yeah, adaptive air suspension. So this will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element um, because if you have a, a if if, if, every, if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway, and you can, you can also go off-roading, um, it's gonna have uh, the highest clearance of any, any production truck. So we're gonna have a, 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 about a 16-inch clearance. Um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These, these are actually extremely important for a truck. Because trucks, when you only drive them, they're either too cushy or they're, they're too hard. Um, you need it to be able to adjust dynamically depending upon what the load is. If you've got a lot of people on board, if you've got a full bed in the, in the back, it's got to adjust accordingly.